comes an exciting day on the island of Sodor. Good morning, called Harold. Annie and Clarabel were full of happy children. Thomas was taking them to their annual sports day. Everything was ready for the day to begin. I hope I'm number one and win a medal, said a boy. It must be splendid to win a medal, shot Thomas. After all, I'm engine number one. Thomas worked hard all day, but he kept thinking about medals. He imagined himself wearing a gold medal on a red ribbon. How smart he would look. Hello, Thomas whistled Percy. I'm taking the fat controller to sports day. You can see the egg and spoon race, chuffed Thomas. I didn't know eggs and spoons had races. The children race with eggs and spoons, said Bertie. And the winner gets a medal. I wish I could get a medal. You'll need to win the race first, whistled Percy. I'll race you, Thomas. The first one to the station is the winner. You're on, whistled Thomas. Ready, steady, go. Better hurry, Bertie, beeped Thomas. Then Thomas had to stop to pick up some passengers. Better hurry, Thomas, teased Bertie, as he rattled over the bridge. Then Bertie had to stop at a level crossing. Last one there, Puffs Hot Air, called Thomas. Thomas was nearly at the station. As he drew near the playing field, a signalman flagged him down. Now Thomas was really cross, but he was sure to win. Then he saw the fat controller. Thomas, the sports day medals have been left in my office. You must fetch them at once. We can't let the children down. Of course not, sir, replied Thomas, and he chuffed away. Bertie had raced into the station. I won, shouted Bertie. I won. And he waited eagerly for Thomas. He waited and waited. But Thomas had forgotten about the race. He was thinking about the children. I can't let them down. I can't let them down. Thomas puffed back into the big station. The station master gave Thomas's driver the box of medals. Then Thomas set off again. He arrived just in time. Well, John, said the fat controller. Thank you, sir, panted Thomas. The Fat Controller presented the medals to the winners. Congratulations. Thank you, sir. The next day, Bertie and the medal winner arrived with a surprise for Thomas. A small boy presented him with a gold medal on a red ribbon. You were very helpful at sports day. So we thought you should have a medal of your own, added the boy. Why? Very old medal, said Thomas. Thank you. Three cheers for Thomas, the number one engine. But I still won the race, tooted Bertie. Thomas just beeped happily. <laughs>